Hey there, Sharon Hornells from here. Welcome to day 1970, 1970. Uh, days that I have documented my journey as I move from the brick and mortar corporate world of business to the online world of business. And I just share every day kind of what I'm working on, what's on my mind, what is the good, the bad, and the ugly of growing and building and supersizing a business as well as doing challenges. I do a lot of challenges. I, I create a lot of challenges. I participate a lot in challenges because I found they're the fastest, easiest, quickest way for me to achieve a result in a really short period of time and a desired result, right? I'm not going to do a challenge to do something I don't want. Uh, done health challenges, done business challenges, done annual challenges, done all kinds of challenges. This year's annual challenge is the Get Your Goals annual challenge, and we're focusing on financial well-being this month and financial goals. Well, our financial goals are generally to help us have financial health and financial well-being, just like the other areas and aspects of our life, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships, contribution, communication, and confidence. Those are the areas that I set goals in. I like to break life down into different categories and frameworks, and that's my life framework that I use because it helps me create some semblance of order in, in what is otherwise pretty chaotic. Our lives tend to be a lot of stuff going on, and if we don't find a way to manage them, they will manage us. Our life will manage us. Life will keep happening to us unless we decide how we're going to frame it and, and, and go through it ourselves, how we're going to respond and react to it. And that's why I like the annual challenge. I know that if I do one little thing every day, I can create whatever it is that I want in my life. And I like to help people do that as well. So today's topic was insurance. We're focusing on financial goal key performance indicators. This is the seventh one we covered. We'll cover one more tomorrow. Then a couple of financial topics before we hop into the seven step goal process that we're using each month in each of these areas and aspects of our life, one day at a time focusing on each step and making sure that the most important goal we have in each of those areas and categories of our life is one that we are we're going to make sure happens in our life because we're going to do one thing every day we're going to we ran it through this well we ran a goal through the soap framework for finances and now we're going to maybe it's a different goal maybe it's the same goal we're going to actually go through step by step of the process to make sure that by the end of this challenge we've got a process installed in our subconscious that we will go through automatically we won't have to stop and think about step one step two step three through step seven because we'll have done it so many times it'll just be automatic so when something comes up that we see that we want we'll automatically run it through that process in our subconscious and if we need to bring it up to our conscious to make sure it happens or to make sure different steps of it happen then we have the ability to do that too so we talked about different types of insurance we talked about why would you want insurance and then our idiom today was better safe than sorry i personally love this idiom because it reminds me because i tend to run and just take action it reminds me to take a deep breath and think about the consequences of any action I think that I want to take I wish I did this more took a deep breath and thought about what I was going to say before it popped out of my mouth don't always do that uh, especially when it's a heated moment sometimes stuff just pops out of my mouth and I hate that because sometimes you wish you hadn't said something because everything that pops into our head should not come out of our mouth so we should take precautions to ensure that doesn't happen right uh, better safe than sorry it's been around since 1837, a man, an Irish novelist by the name of Samuel Lover, good name, better than Horn with an E, uh, used it in his book called Rory O'More. And he talked about the importance of taking precautions ahead of time instead of having to deal with the consequences of things that might happen in life. So it's kind of right in line with insurance, right? Hey, that's insurance's big sell is that you want to have insurance so if bad things happen in your life, you're covered. You want to have insurance for your house so if there's a hailstorm that goes by or an ice storm that goes by, you got it covered. Uh, you want to have health insurance so if you have a sudden cardiac arrest and drop dead, you got it covered. You want to have, you know, business insurance so if something happens to your business like the COVID pandemic and there's things outside of your control but are covered by insurance, which I don't think anybody had pandemic insurance prior to uh, COVID-19, but I bet there's policies being sold right and left now. Uh, I don't know if they would consider that an act of God. I don't think it was an act of God but uh, or nature. So insurance topic for another day. I, uh, I have strong feelings about insurance. Basically, we're betting something bad's going to happen, so we're buying insurance to protect us against that. The insurance companies on the other side are betting Nothing bad's going to happen to the vast majority of us, and over time, they will make, you know, billions and trillions of dollars because they've got all the information and all the data that will tell them what kind of rates to charge in order to make that kind of money. 
and, and you know, I, I think of it as, as gambling, right? Legalized gambling. But as a, a lay person or a human being or just an individual, I know that it's important to have insurance and have the coverages that we need. Might have life insurance, all different kinds of insurance. So curious what your take is on better safe than sorry. My motto growing up and with the kids was always safety first. And it wasn't me growing up, but once I had kids, it was safety first. <laughs> When I was growing up, it was just barrel in and see what happens. But once I had kids, I'm like, mm, maybe we better slow it down and have some precautions. And my with my granddaughters, same thing. It's like, mm, safety first. You know, we need helmets. We need protection. We need to not run out the front door. We need to not run into the street. Things like that. We need to learn what is what what the high risk activities we have are and to just protect ourselves against those. If we're gonna skateboard or snowboard, we're gonna wear helmets. If we're going to ride our bike, we're gonna wear helmets, things like that. That's insurance because it's better safe than sorry. Because you're gonna fall off your bike, you're gonna fall off your snowboard, you're gonna you're gonna roll and tumble and get hurt. But if you protect yourself a little bit, maybe you save yourself from bad injuries, etc. All right. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, have a fantastic day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.